Oh, it's so cute! Oh, yeah, this little raincoat! I fall in love with Tora here on, oh, in a Jeep. My God. That's absolutely the winner. Yep. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim and Kristen here. Hey. And we're joined by Thomas Wilson, who is the co-studio head at Beanox and the creative director of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Uh, welcome, Thomas. Thank you very much. So we're taking a first look here at Dragon Mines in Crash Team Racing, which I'm super excited to visit. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we're checking out here today. Yeah, so Dragon Mines is one of the original tracks from Crash Team Racing. Uh, and like all the other tracks... Uh, our goal was to sort of re reimagine yeah. uh, what the track would look like uh, today. Oh, um, so what are some of the biggest differences that folks will, will be seeing? Yeah, so it was called Dragon Mines because it's Komodo Joe's track. So it's his home turf. It, it, you know, it's a track you'd be racing him on. But at the same time, there are no dragons. You know, to a certain extent, it was a reference to the character. But, you know, we told ourselves, you know what, what if, if uh, you know, there was a mining community would have stumbled upon uh, an old dragon's treasure. So here what you have is, as you can see on the side, is we have like the full community with, you know, little houses and uh, and uh, carts, carts going maybe. around. I was going to say, it's like this detailed like ecosystem <laughs> happening around you while you're racing. Yeah, yes. It seems like what, you know, the power of, you know, this version of the game has allowed you to do is it seems like there's like just stories to tell within these these tracks now yes. that, that weren't really there before. Yeah, and really our goal was to animate the world. Uh, you know, it was fairly static at the time because of the technological constraints. But when, the, you know, today we can have fun with uh, animating the world. So what you'll, what you'll see as you're racing, although it's not where you're paying attention first, is that we'll have miners digging at the same time as the music beat. Uh, yeah. We'll add, uh, you know, rats walking around doing funny stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to the left here as you're coming by, there's a whack-a-mole just to the left there. Oh. Uh, and a dragon paying attention to what's going on in the track, trying to say. breathe fire. But, you know, he's so old that he's uh, unsuccessful. Oh, uh, buddy. So, yeah, these are the things that we're doing. And now, you know, we can have piles of gold everywhere. Oh, oh you got crushed oh, there. My bad. Uh, yeah. All right. And so these are some of the things that we're thinking about when we're uh, redesigning uh, the track. You know, we're not redesigning the layout. The layout is exactly the same, same grid controls. But, you know, what's going on in the world, though, we can have fun with. Nice. That's incredible. So, yeah, the, the muscle memory of, you know, shortcuts and, and different techniques techniques that players that played the original in 1999 had, those are still valid here. Yes. But then there's just new set dressing and, and amazing new things to check out. There's so much to check out that since we have you here, uh, let's hop back in and maybe you can give us a bit of a tour of Dragon Mines. Absolutely. All right, so we're back at Dragon Mines here again. And let's uh, sort of take our time. We've gone into time trials. So we've got the whole place to ourselves. Yes. And Thomas, um, you know, would love your developer's insight into just some of the things that people might not notice um, as they're just whizzing by lap after lap. Yep. So we're taking this time to give you a quick tour of some of the, the attention to detail that we like <laughs> to put in every track. <laughs> so first thing you notice is that we've customized uh, all every starting gate uh, with, uh, with the track. Little animation. Theme. Yes. Yeah. So in this case, you know, you had uh, at the beginning of the track, you see the, these bats flying away. And now we have this miner trying to grab the last bat that yeah, stayed there. I guess he just doesn't like bats. That's, yeah. that's fine. And so as you're fine. racing, sometimes you'll see animations evolve over time as, as you're, you're, you're completing laps. Nice. Um, so, of course, you know, we filled uh, yeah. the caves with, uh, you know, gold nuggets and stuff. And just um, waterfalls and yes. grinding gears. And, and so here's an example of what you're seeing. A little bit of humor whack here. A whack-a-mole <laughs> right there. Uh, with the moles always hiding at the last minute. I and then you the have the moles kind of watching it. Yeah. Poor family. Yeah, poor just, family. Just I believe in you. Poor family of moles. And oh. then we have, like, the little Ferris wheel right here uh, probably working, uh, um, you know, some 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 kind of mechanism around the mine. Aww. Yeah, hard uh, at work. Yeah, and, then our, and then our dragon. So oh. dragon here, so we open up the cave area, and he's actually trying to be threatening, right? Trying to breathe fire as the racers are going by, but... You know, to no avail. I'm, He's too old. I'm deeply intimidated, buddy. <laughs> like, it's a good effort. Um, yeah. Good old uh, boy. And so th this is one thing we'll be trying to do. Like, right here, uh, to your right, you have a rat getting stuck in uh, oh, no. in a wooden pole here. And so you have, Very like, his buddy. Friends, yes, yeah. have his buddy, like, pull him by his ear. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> laughing it off uh, oh, as, he's, as they're trying to pull him. Um, 
So these are, uh, this is the kind of humor we're putting. Yeah. Like, you know, we've added piles of gold in the distance, uh, you know, carts uh, on rails and are stuff like that. Are there any shortcuts we could highlight? Yes, there's one, but it could be very difficult. You have one right here. So as you see, the carts oh, are, yeah. are sort of like rolling by. Oh. So I suggest you have a, a boost to pick that shortcut. Because oh. there's probably one high Otherwise, your heels here. I'm oh. just going to get probably crushed oh, by it as you can it's coming. Jump out onto yeah, the Yeah, there track. you go. Okay. And so. But if you have oh. a boost, you can use that shortcut okay. to your advantage okay. and, and, you know, skip the entire section. But as you can see, <laughs> it got squished twice. So definitely need to have uh, some kind of boost or, or uh, Aku Aku Mask, I recommend. Well, that was very selfless act of you to show everybody and, yes. and Barry getting squished like that. And so talking about the mining community, that's an example of an area that was empty uh, in the original game. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to fill it up with, uh, with life, right? So now we have, like, little houses, yeah. uh, you know, uh, right basically located uh, right by the stone pillars. Where all the miners live on their yeah. off time. And, and you see them like mining and moving and dancing at the same time as the, the, the music goes on. So these are the things. You even have my point there in the background, a little Beanox logo right, oh, right in the oh, distance. Oh, sneaky devil. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So <laughs> um, these are things that we do. So, you know, that's the kind of humor and uh, life that we want to add to every track. It's amazing. There. It's uh, Yeah, there's so much going on here to, d to digest. So thanks for walking yeah. us through it. We're actually going to jump into another exciting track uh, in just a second. All right, before we jump into the next track, I want to take a quick look at the retro skin for Crash, which is incredible. So polygonal. Glorious, chunky <laughs> polygons. Love it. Yeah, that's exclusive to PlayStation. So we have Retro Crash, Retro Coco, and Retro Cortex. Nice. Along with this brand new uh, Retro Kart set. Awesome. Very and cool. I think we are going to check out even more retro content here. All right, we're here taking a first deep look at Retro Stadium, nice. the PlayStation exclusive track. And gosh, you know what, Thomas? I got to say, I love what you've done with the place. Mm. Uh, Thank you. This is a PlayStation exclusive? I had no idea <laughs> from yeah. all those look. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so, I yeah, love it. Uh, a brand new retro uh, reinterpretation of Turbo Track, Retro Stadium. Uh, and, you know, it's full of twists and turns. Uh, but it's also made of low polys. Yeah, I was um, going to say, like, even just looking at this track right below you, like, it, it really brings you back, but it still looks crisper and cleaner than it, it probably did back in 1999. Well, yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun actually retrofitting this track. Yeah. Uh, our <laughs> studio art director, who I've been working with for about 20 years, uh, back to the time when we were uh, developing PlayStation 1 games, uh, was actually having fun playing with 32 by 32 pixels textures wow. and it would, would go as far as picking 64 by 64 pixel textures. So, but that, you know, this is where we're pushing it. Um, and so say, like, is it, is it incredibly challenging to have to go back after you've spent the majority of this game sort of cleaning things up and now we're sort of stripping it back? Yeah. It's, it, it, the difficult part is, is removing stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, because we've had it so much with the, the brand uh, new uh, remastered version. Uh, but in this case, uh, what we did is we turn on uh, the texture filtering off. And this is how we can achieve the pixelated look on the ground, even in the crowd. Yeah. Uh, so it was really a matter of, you know, it's less is more, right? So it was being uh, faithful to the original arena model right. uh, from from Turbo Track, yeah. and and then making sure that you know even the t the corners uh, or even the flying banner right here, yeah. you know, would be tempted to add poles, oh, but right. that wouldn't be that Who wouldn't be fair those? to the original game. So <laughs> yeah. it's super authentic, and and what I love about it is like it's got a new a new look to it, but yet you know like the other stages like Dragon Mines even, um, you know, the track layout itself is familiar, so you'll remember those short those shortcuts and that sort of muscle memory will come back to you. Yeah, Especially and it's definitely a technical uh, course. Yeah. You know, a lot of tight turns, oh, uh, a lot of turbo pads. Right I've been really grappling with these. I've yet to perfect them, but that's hey, something. You're doing, yeah. you're doing all right. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh well, at least just I avoided that one. <laughs> almost took them with me. Oh. Sure, maybe I should ease off the gas a little bit. Actually. I don't that's know. That's probably my, my trick. It's just oh, here you have this opportunity to maybe say, finish first. Oh, tip, 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 tip. Oh, you <gasps> might get it. Oh, oh please. No one have a missile behind be me. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Awesome. It's all Great hinging job. on that. You know uh, what? I think I'm ready to jump in here as well. You wanna? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's jump in. Let's do some split screen multiplayer. What do you guys think? Yeah. Of course. 
All right, before we jump into some split-screen multiplayer, uh, let's play around with the randomization option a little bit just to see what's going on here. Uh, I was going to say, we've yes. all clearly just been <laughs> mixing and matching all these different skins and carts. I love this, though, because it could bring up a combo that you'd never even considered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a very powerful button. That's why we created it. Actually, it's one of the things I like the most when we're playing this game now is that it's a randomize just for the fun of it. Oh, it's so cute oh, with yeah. this little I think raincoat. I fall in love with Pura here on, oh, in a Jeep. Oh, my God. That's absolutely the winner. Yep. Um, so uh, Let's see. Uh, why not? I guess yeah. I'll be playing as... Uh, Sam with uh, the Bulldog. Excellent. Book. And then for those following along at home, uh, player one is going to be Thomas. Um, I am player two. Kristen's player three. And then Scott over there is player four. So let's jump on in. All right. So we're jumping into Polar Pass. Um, we stay got, frosty. Yeah. Stay frosty, you guys. Uh, may the best racer win. Thank you. Got to try to get that. I can, I'm can. i not consistent in getting that boost. <laughs> Thomas, what's your tip for, for getting that, that starting boost? So you have to wait for the final green light to okay. hit it. I mean, so you have to pay attention to the sound bite, uh, and then you hit it as soon as the, the last green light turns red. All right, I think that, that muscle memory will come back to me. Um, but yeah, you know, just wanted to say personally, thank you so much for including split-screen multiplayer in, in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field here. Uh, I feel like it's sort of something that I, I don't take for granted anymore. I'm, I'm really appreciative when a uh, developer decided to put this in the game, which you know is also faithful to the original, right? Yes, it had to be. I mean, there's so much fun playing together in split screen. Uh, it had to be there. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Now I'm noticing if I if I do a hop uh, over any of these jumps, it sort of gives me a little bit of a boost. Yes, it does. As a matter of fact, you need to sort of understand when it's time to hit the hub button on top of uh, any slope uh, to get a little bit of momentum, and you get an extra boost. Especially the higher the jump, the higher the boost when you when you land. Nice. Yeah, it seems like between tracks with with jumps like that, and then you know, getting the the power boost as well. Like it's it's pivotal for for winning a race. I mean, especially when you're playing against uh, other players. Absolutely. And uh, you might notice if I'm pressing the triangle button, now I'm switching to the classic HUD, top left corner. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so if, you're, uh, if you like the old version, uh, you can use that. Uh, or if you prefer the new version, the nitro fuel HUD we created, uh, you get a little bit of more, uh, you, let a, you get a little bit more information about how you can master the, uh, the boost when you're power sliding. Yeah, I mean, it's been a while for, for me since I, you know, was was trying to master these boosts, and so having that extra information is super handy. Um, ah. But then, yeah, if folks are, are used to the uh, the classic look, that's that's available too. Dang it, into the drink. I okay. know. <laughs> Every time. Should have chose Crash's scuba skin for how much time I'd be spending <laughs> in the water here. Uh. By the way, I think I'm killing it. Uh, just saying. Yeah. Have you have you spent some time with this game before, Tommy? I think you uh, might have played it before. You just started <laughs> playing t this morning. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm being there. chased by the warp orb. One day I'll get that shortcut that's at the top of that tunnel. Yeah, so you need to hop at the right time in order to get to, yeah. to hit it. That's a tricky one. Though. I just slammed into the wall. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, dang it. That was a close one. Do you have a favorite power-up, Thomas? Uh, the missiles, the right. tracking missiles, of course. It's a I mean, that's the most satisfying to, to fire away. Slam bomb. Uh, although I kind of like throwing a rolling bomb behind me when I know I'm being chased oh, and when yeah. I have an, that's so a deeply an opponent on my tail. It is, yeah. It's a, it's a big... Uh, and everything goes according to plan. And, of course, in this game, it's, uh, it's important to remind everybody that you need to... The more Wumpa fru fruits you collect... Uh, as, as soon as you have 10, you get a little faster, but also your power-ups become more potent. Oh, no. Um, and oh, so they do. Th oh, yeah, they do. So the beaker, the green ha. beaker, turns into a red beaker, and now you have a little cloud, a rainy cloud on top of your head if you get hit by it. Uh, rolling bombs will last longer. Uh, TNT crates will turn into uh, nitro crates instead, uh, which will explode on impact. Oh, and I should be talking while I'm racing. And yet you're still yeah, <laughs> totally yeah, and it's still first place. Maybe they would just even the odds a little <laughs> bit. Um, Distract him more. Get over oh here. Oh, no. Oh, I just. Was that you, Kristen? It was. Oh, oh, and then I hit a wall. So How dare you. All right, well, I, I just spun out. Oh, man. It's just so much more intense. How are you guys doing? <laughs> listen. See, you having listen. a good time. It's great back here. Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> No. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna get myself a drink. Do you want anything? Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> no ice though. Oh, oh, uh, let's oh! See. So All it's right, a, it's a race for second now. For third, oh, for it's third, third. Oh wait, yeah. no, yeah, it's just Kristen and I. Oh yeah. Well. Hey, I finished. Right. Um, <laughs> that's what matters. That's good. Uh, Thomas, thank you so much for stopping by and showing off Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Uh, My pleasure. Not long to wait to visit Dragon Mines and Retro Stadium and play some some multiplayer. Um, it's coming out June twenty first. Yeah, I can't wait for people to get their hands on it. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Please stay strong.